What is up guys? Back in today with another reaction to Classroom of the Elite Season 3, this time with Episode 2. Interesting start to this uh, special test last episode with all the classes kind of coming together. Uh, ended up living together in this kind of um, old Japanese place looking after it. Um, doesn't seem all too hard, but it's more the relationships and how the kind of classmates get along um, is the kind of real test there. Uh, interesting kind of sides. Uh, quest I call it um, with Horikita the ex-president uh, taking on the current uh, I think class 2b president I think it is again don't quote me on that or anything but uh, he seems like a very interesting character so I can't wait to see more of him I can't wait to see more of Ayana Koji and his group as well he's got a few troublesome members in there uh, Koenji um, one of Ruin's old friends as well uh, we did see a little bit of Ruin last episode looking like a, a bit of an emo <laughs> at the back of the class but um, yeah super excited to continue today do let me know what you guys think about this episode though down in the comment section leave a like on the video if you guys did like and subscribe to the channel if you do want to keep up to date with these reactions and let's get right into episode two and again, of course, uh, Class D is now Class C, which is awesome to see. A man is a wolf to another man. Yeah. True. True. Boars. <laughs> Beware of boars. Yeah, this guy is just trouble. Like, what is this deal? His deal is just chaos. <laughs> is this deal? But to what end? Come on, Albert, help him out. I'm sure he could carry him and be just as fast. And yeah, here's Saki and Aggie's friend, who I want to know a little bit more about as well. Apologies, I did mix him up for the uh, the class two, uh, class B. I don't know why I keep saying two. <laughs> class B uh, president, mix them up a little bit. The two blonde guys. That is a big ass bore, to be fair. Jesus, it's like a bear. <laughs> I am a Koji boy. You're gonna eat that? No point in trying with this guy, honestly, is there? No point in trying with this guy. Oh, he knows about that? Okay, so he sees through us. Okay. Yeah, honestly, uh, not too afraid of him knowing. Interesting. Dragon no boy. <laughs> that was hilarious last season. Yeah, as I said, this guy is just chaos. And and as I've been asking, what does he get from this? <laughs> Except for just like complete freedom for himself, which might be enough for him. And it seems like it is. But as I said, I don't worry about him knowing anything because he's got no kind of... He's got no... Um, relationships or objectives any kind of sly it's just it's just nothing you know what i'm saying it's, again it's a bit like the joker just kind of pure just chaos and troublesome for no reason who is that very scary looking girl in that shot right there i don't recognize her she's like the only one from that class i don't recognize So that's Saka Yanagi looking like Reina. <laughs> I and Koji with all the items in the RPG. <laughs> okay, I can appreciate the visuals a bit more now because I've heard the song a few times already now. Yeah. <laughs> 
So I just mentioned last episode, I think apparently the bishop is a little bit stronger than the knight, but I personally prefer the uh, the knight, honestly. Bit of a more fun piece. The tiniest bag you've ever seen. What's in there? Is this another fan? Not another Sato situation, man. We haven't seen Sato yet. I feel like we might not see her again. Which is a shame, because she deserves better than I in a Koji, honestly. She was a very nice girl. Got nice eyes, this girl. Yeah. It has to be different, Benji, doesn't it? You know what, that, that sounds a lot like me. <laughs> I used to play football quite a lot. I still play football. I've quit smoking. So, bit of a... Bit of a happier story for me, I guess. Yeah, I started smoking and stopped playing football. But now I've stopped smoking and started playing football again. Do you know what, if I was in this room right now, I'd be telling these guys to shut the fuck up so I can get some sleep. <laughs> about Albert sleeps with his glasses just to be prepared look cool <laughs> go NG just still there just like a mummy <laughs> you look so peaceful
Everybody in this room is awake right now. Again, I'd be so pissed off. And there are the glasses. Again, why does he sleep with those? Are they like actual glasses? Because they just kind of look like shades. Gotta look cool as soon as he wakes up. But yeah, I hate stuff like that, honestly. Whenever I used to sleep around my mates or anything, I'd, I'd get pissed off if I can hear people talk. Gonna sleep. <laughs> Little hood look. Makes sense. See, every, everyone apart from Quenji, this group's actually pretty good, apart from Quenji. Everyone seems to be doing okay. Makes sense his stamina wouldn't be that good. He's got big, <laughs> he's got big muscles, which uh, take a lot more energy than more muscles, obviously. What do we do with Quenji during this time? What if he just decides not to run? Which is a very big possibility. Just sucks, doesn't it? This sucks having Quenji on your team. It really is just like the biggest fucking dead weight ever. You'd rather someone absolutely shit and tiny and dumb than him because at least they'd actually participate and try. You'd rather have someone that tries than someone that's really good at stuff. And it's Oh, it means nothing though. But there was no nothing to be gained or lost from this apart from pride, which which is a big thing in itself to be fair. But what does that mean to these his classmates? His pride. Well, obviously they care about him. Oh, this would piss me off as well. This whole situation pissed me off. <laughs> that is so fucking loud. Someone ta tape his bloody mouth shut. You man. Ah, there's, there's the ex and current president. Hmm, what the hell is this? What is going on there? That's an interesting group of people, isn't it? Hey, Kay. <laughs> I haven't seen enough of her this season already. I want to see some more of her. We passed her earlier. Um, it's an interesting group of people, isn't it? Nagamo, uh, Orikita, Ryuen, of all people. Maybe he's... Maybe Iona Koji's put him up to this or something to help out Horikita, but um, also Saki and Aggie's friend, Meat Shield, we call him, from, uh, from last season. Interesting group of people, isn't it? From every class but C class. I'm 
not sure what class Horiki is in, to be honest with you guys. <laughs> Might sound silly, but I, I really have no idea. We've only ever really seen him as like the student council president. Saw him race last season, but yeah, yeah. I guess he's in. Would that make him in class B then? Considering he raced Ayana Koji, who was who they teamed up with class A with during that sports festival. I, I have fucking no idea. <laughs> I would assume he's in class A, but. Speech. Wow. I'd fucking suck at that. <laughs> the relay. I was always pretty good at relays and racing. I, I broke a few sports day records when I was at high school. And then, as I said, I, I did start smoking and stopped, uh, stopped doing a lot of fitness and football and such. Oh yeah, our team would always win the relay. Alberto. Just taking in that lovely view. Oh damn. Jesus. A bowling ball. Okay, we're doing really well. Until. Gambale. <laughs> Not quite as wholesome, <laughs> but same deal. Okay, see, again, it seems like we're doing really well. I can't, I can't imagine how hard this would be as well. Running down here was okay, I guess. But running up these mountains is such a difficult task. Well, maybe we're not doing that well. I guess he got overtook during this, uh, during this portion. Come on, Ayana Koji, use your full strength, bro. <laughs> we know what you can do. And no one's watching you as well, so. It's just what happens here, really. <laughs> that smug little fucking what will you do Koenji yes <laughs> yes I want to see it don't ah you bastards they were never going to show that were they they're never going to show him working hard but good to see Good to see you, Koenji. Love to see that. Sorry, I'm going to pause for a second. I just need to wipe my eyes. And if I wipe my eyes, I'm inevitably going to miss an important line of text. So, um, yeah. That's a bit of a shame I didn't get to see it, though. Again, I would have loved to see him actually kind of see him try hard, see him actually put some effort in. But uh, just knowing he did is, is enough, I guess. But like I said, I don't, think they're, I don't think they're ever going to show that. You can't really keep up his image if they actually show that. We can't keep it up as well, should I say. Um, awesome. Hopefully he's not slow. <laughs> That's another thing. What if he's actually terrible at running? You wouldn't imagine so. He's very physically fit. Good, good. But the girls... Fuck it, Albert, bro. I'm at here. So yeah, he is in class, eh? And 
unless he proves you cheated. What does that mean? Wow. Isn't that not like a bit of a shitty thing to do? Like, maybe that's the whole point of it, but because you led the class to failure, it's quite obvious that you'd get expelled. But the fact that you're giving such a shit leader such a big decision of expelling someone also is like quite terrible. Again, I related that a lot to um, The Apprentice. <laughs> that's like a British TV show. If any of you guys have seen that, I think there's one for America as well, like Donald Trump. Uh, but I, I kind of think the same in that, where the team leader also gets to choose someone. Usually, you see in that show that it's very biased, and of course it would be. It's usually like the people that they don't like, and it's the same in this situation. So it's kind of bullshit, really, isn't it? That's a, a bad leader gets to make such a big decision when they've been outed as a bad leader. But that seems like this was Matt Nagimo, I think his name is. Um, seems like it was, this was his plan, maybe to take a pawn away from. Horikita, maybe he's willing to sacrifice one of his own students. So fa fair enough with this girl, honestly, for getting herself expelled. <laughs> That's some real commitment there. But yeah, looks like he's fine with losing one of his own as long as he gets to take one of Horikita's away by the looks of things. And it looks like it might be that girl that we've seen crying. So uh, yeah, not great news. Uh, I'm a little bit ashamed of how quick this arc's gone, honestly. It's two episodes. I was hoping it'd be a bit longer. You can definitely tell this was quite sped up. Yep, he did. Why her though? It also must be so terrible for her get getting to be in the top class and then get expelled while being in the top class. Like in class C or D, you might be expecting it a little bit. Uh, yeah, that is a big shame. No, I haven't really seen much of her till now. Oh shit. Can he buy her? <laughs> is, that what, is that what's gonna happen? And, he's, and she's that important. What can he buy to save her here? They're not going to drop to B class? Wow. Huh. What? What did he buy? What can you buy? Uh, 
Oh, really? Didn't know that. I wonder how much that costs. What was it? It cost like 18 million or something to get promoted a class, right? So you'd imagine it would be maybe not that much, but like a few million. Interesting. So nothing really happened, <laughs> essentially. Except for it looks like Class A might be becoming Class B now. Which is a big, big deal, of course. But no one lost any classmates. I oh, would be, yeah, would be buying you back. <laughs> would be buying you back, Kay. Don't you worry. Is that what it's called? Advanced Nurturing High School. I didn't know that either. <laughs> Never had any idea what the name of the school was. Okay, here's the ending. Some more chess. Oh, she looks sad but cute there. Yeah, that queen looks fucked. <laughs> How'd you get in that position? <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> yeah, she looks really cute. It's a whole Saka and Yanagi ending right here. Bloody hell. That song, though. I like all the songs from this series. They're all really good. They've got a really consistent tone as well, haven't they? Might go back through this at the end of the video quickly. That's Ida Koji behind her. Yeah, good episode today. Like I said, you can definitely tell this arc has been like usually. I think in like season one or two, this would last like at least three or four episodes, right? This arc definitely seemed a bit sped up in comparison to other arcs. I just want to question how we got in some of these positions in chess. <laughs> She's got a hat on there. That's like a shadow. That's like her current self, perhaps. And her current self is a shadow of her former self, essentially there. Although she looks really sad as her former self right here. Seems to have a lot of weight in that teddy bear. Seems to have cut her hair, indicating that she's maybe changed a lot as a person as well. Yeah, there's definitely a lot of stock within that bear, isn't there? What pieces? I always get kind of confused sometimes about which piece is the queen and which piece is the king. I think this is the king. It's fallen down. And this is the queen and it looks like it can literally just like be captured instantly right there <laughs> the, looks like the, the queen's in a terrible position but it also looks like the king is again how does one get in this position <laughs> i mean the pieces aren't even on the correct spots but um yeah you've got you've got to be losing heavily to fight someone to have eight queens against you uh, honestly, it's, it'd, it'd be more likely that there'd be a stalemate at, at the point of someone having eight queens than it would be them being in this position. I guess that's just symbolism of how how maybe the table seem in that way, if that makes sense. Maybe it seems like she's like she can encompass people fully and these queens and fully overwhelm them and, and destroy them mentally. And engineer situations that the outcome would be being surrounded by a bunch of queens like that or something. Yeah, I don't fully know. That's a really cute shot right here. She's so cute. <laughs> yeah, the teddy bear again. So yeah, nice, uh, nice end of visuals there. Nice ending song as well. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Like I said, definitely can tell this arc has been kind of sped up a bit. 
I think I did hear kind of murmuring of people saying that there is an arc in this season that uh, needs a lot of time or something of the like. So I guess that's why they've done this. But a bit of a shame, honestly. Like I said, there was a few scenes I wanted to see. I wanted to see Koenji in the race. Uh, the fact that he actually want, like, wanted to help there, like, I wish we could have saw that, but it is what it is, I guess. Just knowing that he did help is enough. But um, interesting kind of end to the arc. We like the setup of asking Ayana Koji for help and the the traitor from his group, um, from uh, from Nagamo's group. Like the, the, nothing, not really much came from that, from what it seemed anyway. That that was kind of set up at the end of last episode, and we didn't really see any outcome of that, honestly, apart from Ayana Koji figuring out what's going on. He didn't really. Neither of them really played too much of a part, did they? Except for the the fact that their classes did well. I, I again, it kind of maybe skipped over quite a a bit of kind of small details in this arc. I think again, I I obviously don't know because we didn't see those small details. But um, yeah, I feel like maybe a bit of nuance or such kind of got left out here, which is a bit of a shame. But overall, I actually quite enjoyed this. Like I said, it was nice seeing the the boys all kind of come together and uh, get close and work together as a team. Well, that was really well done. Um, and uh, yeah, it was uh, it was a fun time. Um, interesting new characters met as well. This girl, uh, well, the pu the purple girl with the bun seems actually quite nice. Hopefully, we see a bit more of her. And she's you'd expect her to be made. I wouldn't say an integral part of Horikita's kind of army, but um, definitely worth a lot of stock to him, considering how much points he's going to be spending to get her back again. I can't imagine that'd be cheap. Uh, some nice moments from Albert here, of course. But um, yeah, the girl that Ayana Koji spoke with earlier on in the episode she actually seemed quite nice as well i think she's part of class two i do get a bit confused with the years sometimes like how how do the years work with the classes because i know there's class a b c and d but uh, again th this might seem elementary to many viewers but I, I don't really understand how the years work in the classes like the the classes there are they all made up of the same year or are there multiple years in the class i, I think there's multiple years in a class but i'm really Sure. But yeah thank you guys for watching uh, again good, good good arc but definitely a little bit fast in my opinion do let me know what you guys thought though down in the comment section make sure to leave a like on the video if you guys did enjoy and subscribe to the channel if you want to keep up to date i'll be back next week with episode three so i'll see you guys then and enjoy the rest of your day guys